So this wall cabinet I bought off of eBay came in last night, a day early from FedEx. So shout out to them. And I got started putting it together. Here it is on eBay. It is not a Craftsman. This thing was packed so well. Oh my goodness. And the directions were really, really easy putting everything together. It's solid steel. Even the doors here are steel. And I do have to say, this thing went together pretty good. It's an Ultra HD by Seville. It has adjustable shelves, which I honestly I didn't know that it did. Here's the back side. It weighs about 44 pounds. And this morning I got the town putting up the wall brackets. And I used the included hardware. Made sure it was level. It was just a pinch off, but not bad. Here's something I did for the LED dimmable lights. Put Neo magnets, super glued them on last night, and just stuck it on the underside there. Turned out good. And I found these Craftsman stickers on eBay for about $3.50 each. And took off the Ultra HD Seville Classics badge. Just used a little heat. came off just fine and I did trim the sides of that craftsman sticker so that the white isn't showing and there's what it looks like all done all right now let's talk a little bit about what I've been doing here for the past couple of weeks had to shift all these stands down and also fix that cabinet there painted the legs chopped off a couple of legs so the lawnmower would fit and check this out. I also made a little roll around dolly for this sterilite bin full of wires out of you know scrap wood that I had from the uh, old workbench table. I also made some shelves off that old table for this you know shelving system here. That really worked out good too. All right, let me show you the back side of all this. I ended up getting a couple more of those blue storage bins and organized my bench stock. And also picked up this 12 outlet power strip and wired it into that outlet there. Had to use some wood brackets on the back side because it didn't line up with the studs. It actually turned out good and then I just painted them. There's a laptop there in the corner with a speaker. Here's my shop light, magnifying glass, and little and big Larry lights up there. There's my hand. Oh! <laughs> I also found this sheet of aluminum at Lowe's for about 25 bucks. And it's, you know, of course, non metallic, but it was 24 inches by 24 inches. And it fit perfectly right there. Looks like I cleared the ProTran transfer panel by about an inch. Thank goodness. Those doors are really, really solid. You know, I didn't think, you know, for a you know Chinese made deal it'd be this good. It actually is. Just follow the direction that's putting it together. It's magnetic. Shuts really nice and even and straight. Nice and level. Now I wanted to show you, well there's a Christmas. See how I trimmed the sides there? Now it looks a little bit better. And let's get down here and I want to show you the LED lights that are held up with Neo magnets. These are dimmable lamps too. 
yank it down here. And what I did last night was super glued. It's already metallic, but I super glued it anyway on there. So now it just schmacks up there. And you can also put the light off to the side too if you want to do that. But those LED lights do not get hot. I had incandescent in there for a long time, and it, I mean, it, it was hot. These LEDs are great. Hey, thanks for watching. Going to wrap this video up. Well, this area has come a long way in 12 years. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.